What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. So to pick up where we left off, we are pretty much just pushing through um, up in Swedish held territory as quickly as we can because right now uh, we have got a lot of room to exploit on the Eastern Front. But first of all we're going to take this army under Philippe Villiers de Joyeuse and we're going to attack this force under Helmer Hackzell who is incredibly depleted so we'll be looking to do some real damage here. So let's attack. So it's because uh, over here in the, in, in the region near Ufa, uh, we have a large amount of terrain, but a minimal... Uh, we, don't, we don't have a lot of troops to kind of clear the area. So we're going to need to be careful about how we do this, because if we advance too quickly, we're in danger of them running around us, getting behind us, and then we're just going to have to turn around again, which would be super annoying. So because the army is incredibly weak just line up well fortunately the army is weak and we also know that there's another army to the north but they too are also depleted so we can go a bit more hell for leather because we know we don't have large armies to face us further down the line so it's going to be a fairly standard affair we are not going to look to destroy their well we're going to we want to damage their cavalry but we want to destroy their infantry so I don't care if they're, they're charging. So just blast their infantry with shrapnel shot, cause them to rout. Their ability, the ability of their cavalry to actually stop what we're doing is very small. So they'll actually might charge us. Realistically, that's a bit of an unfavourable position to charge from there because we're going uphill. But they're not going to get my general. And then my general is going to turn around and also help. Eh, stay in square, you guys. You guys get into line. So the Lancer Guards say they're currently winning, but they will start to really... The numbers will start to drift downwards in the ensuing combat because we, we are armoured cavalry with um, heavy cavalry swords, whereas they've got lances, which are pretty pants. You guys switch to round shot, engage the Dragoons to the rear. You want as fewer infantry as possible screwing with us. Now when we try and get our blank on there we go so cavalry's been been pushed back this line infantry eh, it's a bit weak here but it's not going to be the end of the world there goes the lancer guard they're out of here all my artillery is going to be bombarding this central point really weird that that's a thing. Yeah, we're going to have lots of artillery coming in. Keep our... Keep our heavy cavalry wide. I mean, if you guys would charge my infantry, that would be great. But if you are going to charge my cavalry, then I'm going to advance my infantry up ahead of it this action here you guys form square there's a horse guard interesting but there we go that's what we wanted to see their infantry just fleeing on mass yeah there we go this is the traditional expected result against such a depleted force. You guys are doing some real good damage to these guards but there's one here who's going to bump into that square and that might be enough. Yeah, you guys form squares then. You 
Goes form line. There we go. Just kill as many as we can. Can't get all of them, that's fine. I just would like to get all of them. Maybe General's been killed. All my artillery aim at that regiment there. All of you guys aim at the guns. There we go. Bring my cavalry up. There we go. That's a couple of units destroyed there. But yeah, as, is, as you would expect, our main concern is making sure that we push them out of this cavalry defence zone. So they've got a long way to go before they get to the edge of the map. So we're okay with letting them push. And we're okay with letting them clear some distance towards the edge of the map. And I'm going to speed it up because time has passed on. Artillery cease fire. You guys go for the garrison guards. You guys go for the regiment of foot. The only unit we've not engaged is this Colonial Light Cav, who is going to wait. I want to wait and see what the... So you guys go after the 103rd because they're not spread out. You guys attack the 34th. This unit of Crassier get up here. Yeah, the more damage we do, hopefully, the more... Likely, the entire army will just disappear on the uh, campaign map. So, speed up time. Okay, you men cease fire. So, we are likely to see some units escape, because it's a damn lot of troops to try and kill in one go. But we will try. No, they're all spread out. You're usually better off trying to kill larger numbers of men clumped together than you are smaller numbers of units spread out, in my experience. So, smaller and clumped. I mean, blunderbuss shotgunners aren't necessarily the prime target to go for. Like if you guys can go for that artillery, that'd be really good. Actually, no, knock out that blunderbuss shotgunner. Okay, go for the militia now. Because they're about to rout. You may as well get a handful of them, because the blunderbuss shotgunners are routing towards you. Okay, let's actually speed up time properly now. Because, uh... Okay, you're not actually going to get that regiment of foot. Nah, oh no, they're still alive, but... Well, they've not routed, but they're still alive. There's only five of them. Two of them here. There we go. The last two are now running away from the edge of the line. Nice. So that's quite a few units of theirs wiped out completely. So hopefully they just die. No, they don't. But that's not too terrible. It still pushes them. But what the AI tends to do is they tend to combine armies. So hopefully these two units combine. To be honest, we could even push out east and hit both of them again with the army from Ufa. That's not... It's not a bad plan, because we don't have to lose too much of our movement points to do it either. Although I might auto that, because that's a really small fight. It has killed that army. They've been pushed west... Yeah, Ufa can deal with it. Yes. So you can drive here. You've still got enough movement points to control some zones. So now you're south of this Swedish army, so you can attack Eckard Halvorsen. Because they... We pushed... So this is very classic of what I mean. So we pushed up 
they ran around us and were trying to go for Astrakhan. So that's what happens if you too aggressively chase them. They just run past you and it's super annoying. So let's go and destroy this force here. I mean, Sweden can't. Surely they can't maintain this loss of troops. I mean, that, that, this would be a couple of battles we've had where we've just absolutely uh, chewed up some forces. Granted, they were weak, but they were still, you know, full infantry units that took time to train and recruit. Uh, maybe in a weird way we're just helping them out because now they have got to pay for them. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to trundle my artillery up onto... Actually, no, that's pretty good ground here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Howitzers up front. So similar to previous engagements, I want to take my strongest-ish infantry, keep them together, ma mainly through to make it easier to, easier to deploy. Because like right now, I look and I can see, okay, all of my units are going to be three ranks deep with a bit of overspill. Some of the weaker units might be a bit smaller than that, but that's okay. Compared to if I have a unit that's too small, like this is, like these units aren't exactly the best, but it means that when I spread them out, they're all going to be kind of okay. The Gurkhas are going to be on the right. So I've not got as much cavalry as I would like for the pursue side of the the battle. Too bad I didn't get to deploy my howitzers quickly enough. They are charging, so that's something to be aware, aware of. Who's that? It's a unit of militia. Send my Gurkhas to march up towards them. Strange sound bugs. The provincial cavalry, though, so by the time they make it to our lines, even if we're not in square, they're still gonna break because they are weaklings. Let's change how to targets. And again, let's. The weirdest thing is. So I've just recorded Britain part. 44? And I did the same thing then, but this is the same session, so it's not as if anything's reset. Yeah, they're coming after my guns. They have their own howitzers. There we go. I mean, like, these guys are... Yeah, they're going to do some... Well, they are doing damage here. So my infantry push up hard. Run out my cavalry. Let's get one infantry unit down here. Yeah, the Sipoy's broke. Understandable. All my artillery around shot. Focus on... 12 pounder hearts. Yeah, my Gurkhas are just gonna, <laughs> just sent them on a march, and they are marching. They're not running. Seventieth regiment isn't going to last too long. Another regiment of horses charging in. It's got a militia unit back there. A couple of cavalry units. I mean, these guys, yeah, they, they were never going to stick around for too long because uh, they're being fired out on the flank. Let's even run the weak ones up. Hello, Provincial Cavalry. So my cuirassier attacked the General's bodyguard. You guys, you might die to the Provincial Cavalry. I 
then you guys can then take shots at other units. Now come on, Gurkhas. Get in there. The Curassier are going to clear out this general's bodyguard. That light cavalry unit is going to get in there against some of their artillery. Go on, Gurkhas. Tip the balance. Okay, you guys stop shooting. You guys attack that general's bodyguard. Advance up into the face of the gorillas. They've got some spikes here to be careful of. We've, although my French East India Company have paid for it. So advance my Gurkhas around to the flank of those guys. Field artillery switch to round shot. Engage the militia all the way back here. I think they struggled to attack units that are dug in. From a um from a targeting perspective. So you guys hit that. hit the guerrilla merc the mercenary unit here because they're weak. Stay marching there. We'll break you guys into a run when when things need to happen. Actually, don't, don't attack the general's bodyguard. You guys get over here. Yeah, so their quick climbing artillery is still actually up and firing. You men chase down the line infantry. And those garrison guards aren't going to be long for this world either. You're going to get over here. Probably attack the howitzers. Yes, you are going to attack the howitzers because that's... We know you're... You will attack them and chase them down till they're dead rather than... Rather than um, shooting at them until they run away, you will actually kill them. So let's let's do that. So the howitzer team is that. Okay, the flag is oh their flag's gone. Shit, cease fire. So our militia, our Gurkhas have hit the militia line, all on their own. They've got some cheeky shots off on us, but we're Gurkhas, damn it. It's one thing they love, it's splitting fools and halves with their cookery knives. And I don't mean cookery is in food, neither. She carry on attacking the guerrilla mercenaries, it won't be long till they're dealt with. speed up time a little bit just because it's okay knock out the general's bodyguard knock out the guerrilla mercenary unit then get you guys back over here get these guys okay they, they're running so try go for them instead You go for the irregulars, you guys. Nearly cleared out this line infantry unit. Come on, one last guy. Got him. To be honest, all these units are going to rout successfully. Yeah, bit of a shame. Although keep right clicking in the event that some of them might stop to fight us. Nah. He's definitely going for that guy right there.
Oh well, that's another nail in the coffin of the Swedish Empire. That's right. They've got 482 men remaining. Great job. Back you guys go. March. New men replenish. So then we've got a couple of armies here. You, well, you're, imp you're important to hold the bridge. We do have an Ottoman stack up here, but we do have copious other units getting up here to try and do something about that. You march that way. Two, get two up to Cherkask. To be honest, like, that's not... <laughs> like, is that a fight? I don't think it is. It's just taken out. We've got plenty of actual fights to make. Don't have to worry about taking out half of a stack in a town. Let's destroy the university because that'll get them back on side. So the actual push up to Chakask is going well. What we can do is we can take Ankara. That would be something. And we've also got plenty of action down here. You're a pretty good army. Because we could knock out Damascus with a quick city fight. Obviously you've been blocked by them. You're blocking these guys from crossing. You guys can actually advance to about here to prevent these guys from going north, although it doesn't really matter. You guys can advance around to here to block that force from getting up to no good. You men, Marcel or Because now we know Anchor is fairly clear. Get up to Anatolia to prevent them from the Ottomans from crossing over. Okay, first of all, Let's take Child the Caster and attack the garrison at Ankara. And then we'll probably want to attack Damascus because that would open our main western routes. Um, that would open well, that would open them up. But it would also give us many, many, many more ports to uh, recruit ships to push the to help push the um, the Ottomans away from our eastern advance. I mean, that's not, it's not as if we couldn't have done it from the west, because we've, we've got plenty of recruitment capacity over there as well. So our guns are going to trundle up a bit here. How it says can stay here and open fire. Our sepoys and a number of company troops can hold the ground. Our Maison de Roy. Maison de Roy. Good old Roy. Take cover in those trees. Keep the cavalry deployed here. So get my guns to trundle up to the top of the hill. Quick climbing howitzers. Just one of them. Quick climb the centre. Holy jeez. Yeah, so this is the bit where they're going to be vulnerable because they're going to be losing. So we lost a gun. Unfortunately, it was a 12 pounder, not one of our horse guard artillery units. Potential for a bit of fratricide here. Like if this guy aims to the right, not that he would, but he might kill some of their own units. I should have been a bit more. Uh, in plotting down where people are going to go. I'm happy to let them open fire. But now, because what I really want to see is a quick climb shot on the center. Shells away, so one of these is going to be landing in here. Some of these are. Oh, yes. Beautiful. So they do have mortars in here, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe they don't. Maybe I'm just being a fool. But there we go. Let's make these two guys on the right make a hole there. You guys make a hole there. There we go. Then we can slowly crank up the speed again because, you know, what we're doing is pretty standard stuff at this point. Just using the artillery to make breaches in the walls. Are you guys charging? 
I mean, they want to, by the looks of it. So if I need to run troops up ahead of the guns, then I will. To keep them safe. That would be a great, that would have been a great quick climb shot, really. But they are just running, they aren't actually charging. For now, at least. Let's also bring our... Good, they fired a volley off just before our infantry are getting... Getting in front of their positions. Good. These walls seem to always seem to fall really quickly. Yes, and run back to the centre where I can quick climb you. But yeah, let's get back to speeding up time. It's lots of lovely, lovely slaughter. The slaughter will get better once we've um, taken the once you've made some breaches because it'll give them more reasons to to clump together you guys bucked sometimes they don't like receive they don't like doing the orders that they get given in sp in um in high speed mode. Although it looks like they might actually just be bugged. They didn't take the loss of their trailing teams well. Some of these units are bugged. I have to wonder if it's because these guys maybe. If I advance them further down the hill. Normally the AI doesn't really bother. Maybe. Normally the AI doesn't care about fratricide. They'll kill your general if he stood in the way. But yeah, the reinforcements from the centre are pretty pretty depleted. I feel artillery have open rain on... Oh, lovely. Another quick climb hit. Let's get our field artillery to make another hole. But then what I want to do is to get my artillery to attack ground here see it to see if they can do it because if so i can then take my howitzers off of dropping shells on the center i can get them i can get these guys to just bombard the center with artillery fire which it looks like they can't do what if i actually give you an order to hit something No, even from up here, huh? What if I gave you an order to hit? No, don't hit them. They're right at the back. Eh. Hit that corner section. See, they know something's here because they've got troops defending it. Even though they know... Even though, in really, we are... They are hidden. And then again, they do have a unit over here when there's nothing, so I might just be being being crazy. Yeah. Just keep attacking. Keep dropping the shells in. Everything's going to be fine. So what can happen is when they're wounded enough, they simply charge they just go mental, seemingly, and just attack you. Which is lovely, because it means they just run outside the gates and get shot to pieces. Yeah, so these are what the um, the knock, the the seven barrel volley gun marines have in the for the Brit for the Brits, because there is no model for a big chunky. Um... Oh, actually, they're missing. They're aiming for that section of the wall. 
Because they're overshooting it a lot if they aren't. I mean, if that's what they're actually doing, then fair enough. Hey, we got the general. It's pretty good. Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Deploy okay, you guys don't have to deploy square anymore. I mean, is that what you guys are doing? Were you guys aiming at that section of the wall and overshooting? Yeah, they were. Fair enough. We can make two holes. We can just push through the breach here as well. So let's take these guys, get them up here. Get you at the gate. You next to that breach. You next to this breach. The Sipahi are done for. I think they got quick limed, so I better actually give them... Give my howitzers new targets. But just get them all firing in the middle. Because no... These units here are actually pretty defunct. Well, I mean, these Sipoys aren't. They're pretty knackered. You guys climb, you guys climb, you guys climb. Charge you men in. Charge you men in. You guys get up to cover. Where's my cavalry? So we're more likely to get through here. But again, this is kind of why I've got my quick climb just dropping of carpet bombing the center so if those guys fire that they could do a lot of damage so i'm kind of hoping we get in let's get some more lovely quick climb kill these nizam because they are more elite and we can just kill them it takes a bit of time to actually kill units frustratingly rather than it is easier to just bypass them. Yeah, look. We're actually going to kill Breach. Oh no, we're actually going to Breach them both fairly fairly evenly. Let's get these guys up on the wall first. Get you guys over here to take this section of the wall. I mean, those giant three musketeers are going to go down as soon as the wall is breached. There we go. Just run in. They're all focusing on this section here. Yeah, Felina, are, they're dangerous because they're actual melee troops. But everywhere else, we're just... Yeah, there we go. We're in. Get them to shoot and shoot at that section of the wall again. Stop our artillery. Get our East India Company to attack the rear. Get you guys in here. Come on, Fiel Artillery. You can definitely attack this section of the wall. We've seen you do it. go let's get a unit deployed on the center you guys need to get over here to help the nizam infantry you guys can just carry on climbing the wall haha <laughs> too close for for your um quick climb shenanigans good sir Get you in the center. Knock out the howitzer crew because there's only two left. We totally didn't need to destroy this section of the wall, but why not? Those are units stood on it. Get 
These men are going to fire it before it will off because I'm going to charge my cavalry in to hit the Semini. You guys all attack that unit of Nizam there. You guys over to the breach. Or breaches. Attack from the rear. Building lost. Oh, it's the gate. this gatehouse. Yeah, because we left. These nine guys stood on it. It's now theirs. So our guys are going to have to climb up and over. Eh, doesn't matter. Once our guards get over here, they'll help. They'll help the, the balance. Now my native troops aren't helping there. You hit the Semini there. You guys charge in here because you are guards. You're not just any old troops. That should cause them significant upset because they're now kind of surrounded by all my troops. You guys do not shoot. See these Nizam. These are fairly elite Nizam. But we got some pretty awesome guards here as well. That's right. Let's see how this guy gets on. So he's killed one guy. No, nope, he's sparring with another. Dodge that attack. I mean, he's behind their lines, so he's a gutsy one, you know that. That's another one. See, so who's going to notice next? That guy's noticed. Got him as well. Who next? Do you fancy it? Oh no, they're, they're going to... They've broken. <laughs> yeah. So that guy, there's another. This guy this really orange looking face i think i suppose he is probably sunburned but there we go ankara has been taken so that's kind of why i wanted to send some infantry to sprint towards the crossing near istanbul because that's quite a significant loss for the enemy they've got navy here with an art with an embarked force let's destroy konya so you're currently nine minus one and the religious unrest will go down a lot because we've got bonuses that give us that help us cut religious unrest in half. So let's repair these buildings and destroying the university will, will help a lot. And it will also deny the Ottomans any ability to research their way out of this mess. So let's repair these industrial buildings because they now serve a greater purpose. So you, you're, that's pretty pretty good uh, pretty good chunk of troops. So you guys are going to go attack Jerusalem. So we're going to use. I, mean, I don't think I can get anyone in there really to help them without triggering a potential attack. Oh, so again, the objective is to kill the the garrison without bringing in any of these troops because they will all then be annihilated. So let's do that and try and take Damascus away from the Ottomans, because then the ball's really rolling. Then it's just a case of mopping up the Ottoman troops nearby and keep the pressure on and go down and capture um, Jerusalem. And then Cairo. God, who'd have thought we had, you know, weeks, potentially months of... Uh, bashing our heads against the Ottomans in Iraq and now this is it now we're off we've punched through their line and we've got the strategic momentum which they cannot withstand especially since we've they've lost their capital and this is a fairly boring army but it is a competent army this is an army without this is an army without needing without any uh need for fancy units it's an army that just does its job it's an army that takes takes on every enemy it faces and a general who has not yet tasted battle really he has no experience of the bloodshed aha so i'm not falling for this again let's take our 24 pounder guard artillery group them together Take our 18-pounder horse guard artillery, group them together. 
get them working on separate breaches. Again, as is tradition, probably want two clearing out the centre, because look at that. Look at all these camels, pikemen, cavalry. But we do know we need to be careful. We can't just rely on... We can't just rely on our quicklime doing a... Ooh! Okay, maybe deliberately focus on their mortars with our quicklime. Just enough to cause them upset while we keep one dropping shots in the centre. Because they are garrison Islamic swordsmen. It's got more mortars coming in. That's a miss. Ooh, right. So... Okay, you guys are pushing it too far. Even though they've got mortars, we need to leave them alone. Because that those this cluster in the middle is now really quite vulnerable. Which means we need to give their mortars something to shoot at. We're about to make our breaches anyway. So we're not going to spread these guys out too far. They're actually going to support the attack on this... Um, corner section here. So we're about to make our breach known. Let's actually get two of these guys to use round shot and work on these bombardment mortars. Yeah, there's them. these mortars over here. They're a bit they're gonna be a bit dangerous. We can't hit them with conventional quick climb, so let's focus our artillery on this breach here. Let's make our infantry run. Cause we need to make a hole and we need to get in there. And this is one of our... Well, we've got to take advantage of the momentum while we've got it. Because we've got lots of units up on the wall here, which could cause us issues. Come on, knock down that corner section. Again, did they stop firing? Looks like they have. They've all... Repivoted, so with this broadside, with this volley, it should be done. There we go. Let's get in there. Get our cuirassier in there. Let's get two more. Let's get more infantry in here. You units deploy squares because you're about to get charged by Mamelukes. So you may as well deploy square to receive the charge. Let's get a unit up on one of the walls. My cuirassier can knock out or can push and attack the hillmen. The Nizam are starting to charge. Form line, artillery, quick line, attack ground. To be honest, there isn't even time. Well, let's let... Get our infantry in. Let's get some of our other infantry in through, in through different positions. You men attack through the gate there. So the curiosity, I can't hold back the hillmen forever. 
and these infantry units will start to break through and they won't like it. So let's bring up our general. There we go. So those men fired into the rear of that combat there and it didn't help them. You men attack the Desert Warriors. The pikemen are upset. The garrison Islamic swordsmen are upset. There we go. So they now they just lack the momentum to stop my line. To stop my infantry now. We've got we've got that momentum that we can just push past them now. Which we are going to want to use to break out into the centre. So you men intercept that unit of Feleen. You guys get up here. Yeah, they dropped a quick lime on this gap, which could have been devastating if they attacked. Ooh, that's pretty bad. Okay, that's two infantry units routed, which is bad. But not devastating. You men attack the camel gunners. My general's bodyguard is ready. A colonial light needs to get over here and in. You men are going to form up and fire at the centre. Our, cav our cavalry is actually going to sit on the central square. Because we may actually um, start the ticker. But you men take position, load and fire. You men knock out those camel gunners. You men knock out. So there's the enemy reinforcements coming in. Okay, you guys need to run because you're going to get quick limed. Your artillery, round shot, focus fire. The garrison, you men get up here as well. Instead, you guys run past them as well. They're holding us. They are holding us, but again, we are starting a waiting game. Where's my light cavalry? Oh, why did you... You've... I gave you orders to get over here, then come in through the breach. Very well. You men abandon the ticker. Charge the general's bodyguard. Because you know he's coming. He's going to come and try and reset us. So we've taken the general's bodyguard. You men get on the centre. You guys attack that unit of general's bodyguard. You're going to want to attack the Israeli. But I don't want you to. You guys, again, are, okay, you guys I did actually send to attack the General's Bodyguard. You guys attack that. Why did you rout? You routed, routed for nothing. Okay, the mortars again are showing. Is it our friendly artillery fire that's upset you? Potentially. The tick is about to get reset. Ah, okay. Darn. Initial attack has failed because they've reset the ticker. We are not going to be able to hold off those waves and waves and waves of reinforcements. So let's... Again, it comes down to making sure you really, really... Uh, got to prepare the ground properly. Again, I tried to, tried to nick it with that attack. Yeah. Nope. Nope. That's that.
everyone withdraw. That didn't work. That attack was a failure. Yes, I gave you orders to withdraw. I didn't tell you to not to. Good. Yeah, everyone just go. Damn. But yeah, there's a few instances there where it was like, yeah, we could have... We could have done some good stuff, but it seemed like the... Uh, well, the mortars caused quite a few key routes. So that's, thing to, that's something to bear in mind. You guys are told to route. <laughs> so they will pursue us. If you guys route, run. You might get caught, chased down by them. Yeah, fair enough, but... It gets me when I say no, run away, and the your troops seem to go, nah. -uh. Ah, damn and blast. It won't last though. We've got other armies. I'll follow this up, even though even if it takes me way over the um, the turn limit, the, the episode limit, um, I am going to get this city. I am going to get it. I'm not going to give up. Just going to be a bit more methodical. And look, because we retreated early, we actually got we're fairly intact. Run! So you men can replenish, and you're probably going to want heavy cavalry. So let's get a cuirassier, and let's see if we can get some cool infantry. I doubt it. Royal Cairo Infantry Guard in 20 turns. Indian mercenaries in five turns. No, that'll take five turns to get here. That's silly. Let's get... Let's get regular line infantry, because we're advancing. Um, so if I take Sir. Emmanuel de Seychelles... Uh, what? You want to go around? At the red. Ready. All right, then. You can go around. You guys are going to stay where you are. Make ready. Ah, okay. So it looks like we're not going to get... Damascus this turn. Nuts. Still, we will get them. We definitely will. So you are waiting on artillery that's going to take a while to get here. Three artillery units and you want three cavalry units. Let's get two heavies and a light. I don't mind if this unit takes a bit of time to get... Uh, get their stuff together. Let's get... Oh, Cheval Leger, 14 turns. Nope. Colonial Light, that'll do. Yeah, that's frustrating. But still, like I said, at least the army is actually... Because we, we withdrew in fairly good order, we've actually... It'll take a few turns to get replenished, but our army will be back up and... Back up and rolling at any time. Most of our units are actually stuck and can't... Well, not stuck, but they can't move. We're holding here. We are. We have some Austrians causing issues. Causing issues in France. So let's take. Nisephore de Cologne. Cologne. Because we've now. We've bottled that, the north. So I can actually get you guys down here into the south. So let's get this big fleet involved. Here, you're holding on to Algiers. We're building up our Morocco garrison because they're going to raid. So let's knock down the Weaver's Cottage. But I want to have a reasonable garrison in Morocco when I push out. And because we've worked out that it's the it's the we can still recruit artillery from towns with a military governor's barracks. It's only in the big cities we can't recruit twelve pounders. So I'm going to recruit three twelve pounders here to replace the well not rep well. The, the garrison will have the four, the horse artillery, but I want to replace the um, field artillery here. I mean, I'm calling it field artillery. It's probably officially a pretty terrible way. It's not the official way to, thing to call it. Algero, you're still waiting for your troops. You guys are advancing on Naples. One more turn to rifle cannons. Hartford is due for destruction. Yeah. Okay, I don't think there's anything to do, so let's hit end turn. Again, it's a shame, terrible shame, what's happened to... Um, what happened to uh, Jerusalem, but still, it's not it's not the worst thing to happen in the world. So let's take two infantry units out, get the two howitzers in. Okay. 
so let's see what happens. I mean, there are a couple of Austrian armies we need to deal with running around our rear areas, but we've got we've got a lot of capable troops. We're pushing on towards Austria. Yeah, so you're going to do some raiding. Oh, you're going to gar they've garrisoned our frontier fort, which is actually pretty useful. Ooh, and you're going to push out and uh, attack us. Let's do it, because this will help redeem myself from the um, Jerusalem debacle. So let's do it. Let's withstand this Austrian assault, because victory here will likely um, break their position in Naples, and it will make the follow-up assault much simpler. Um, but we have to win first. Right, right, right. So... Fortunately, the reinforcing army that's coming in is depleted. It's quite nice territory, actually. So let's put two guns facing the likely axis of advance with four infantry units covering the flanks. So we've got our skirmishers spare and our cavalry that could can more immediately respond to any potential new threats. Let's put a unit of artillery down here, but I'm not going to unlimber them because I want to see where the reinforcements come in. Deploy my howitzers, firing quick climb. I mean, I won't be able to see the reinforcements come in until we actually kill some units, so I might as well unlimber you. Oh, they're all going to aim at the. Um, general's bodyguard oh no actually some of these units are within range which is god damn first foot guards knocked down to 31 men from 225 yeah run that's fair enough so let's get our cuirassier deployed into the field okay, it looks like we are again it's the same hmm even still. Actually, no, don't worry about shrapnel shotting them. Fo do focus on their their guns. The 12 pound of foot artillery first. You men charge the lancers. So we can see from the marines routing where the reinforcements will come in. So then we don't want to go. We don't want to go too crazy. Well, it looks like their cavalry is going to go crazy. Mass cavalry charge. Although that column got smashed by quick climb. Okay, let's retarget other units because the cavalry is charging in for a melee assault. You men all drop into square we've beaten the lancers let's take this flank push them up skirmishers get over here bring our cavalry in to counter charge although obviously it's not as necessary now change our these artillery units to, to actually start to shrapnel shot the enemy, this unit, can actually carry on their attack. Then on the other flank... Let's get our horse guard and our chevaux leger to get around to engage this artillery park. Looks like the reinforcements coming in behind their line, which in some ways is useful, in some ways it's not. So they're actually... Okay, let's get you guys out of here into into line, because we've got... Curassier to deal with the enemy cavalry. Swiss pikes coming in. Okay, you guys... Buy a canister shot. Advance the general to give the men courage. Courage is the best of... Oh, no way! They're coming in over here. 
cuirassier hit the general's bodyguard lancers get over here knock out their artillery skirmishes run over here you men attack the guerrilla mercenaries we've hit our line which is a concern There we go, let's get you guys back. Okay, you guys attack the Swiss Guards. My heavy cavalry can hit the carabiner, then we can start to try and do a bit of... Right, okay, you guys fire round shot at the General's bodyguard. Because you guys need to knock out the carabiner, and then they also need to charge into the rear of the Swiss pikes. But to be honest, this whole block of men needs to get some heavy cavalry up there, Jaxi. The Swiss guards are already wavering, so they're the best target. Because we might, might have, well, we could have been able to break them. To have broken them, maybe. You men fire at will, because that's a delicious cavalry target. You continue to engage the general's bodyguard. Let's get my general around to the rear. There you go, the carabiner are down. And I'm not looking to kill their cavalry, I'm looking to make it rout. Because I don't want it so easily coming back. To be honest, we could probably do with taking these two units. Advancing there. Two units advance this direction. And then let's get ready to face... The new enemy. My heavy cavalry need to stay there. For as long as possible. Uh-oh. There we go. Point blank cannons to shot. Yeah, our line looks like it's giving up the ghost. Lines actually is actually giving up. Got our lancers over here. Blast the pikemen with this artillery unit. It's not good, not good at all. Come on, you guys get back and hit them. Those are Swiss pikes. They're not just any old fruitcakes. Oh, I think this might be two losses in one session. What the hell? Ah, well. Worst things happen at sea. Oh yeah, they're, they're just... Yeah, they're rolling us up. Yeah, the general has fallen. The Swiss pikes are going to have their way there. You men, get the hell out of there! Oh, they're they're done for. Yeah, I think these. I think they've. Yeah, they've they've done well. I think the main the main issue. The main issue is they did. Uh, they managed to roll up our left flank pretty well. Yeah, two losses in one game. Two losses in one session. Nuts. And this is an army that won't be doing so well. So you guys. You, I hate how actively you have to micromanage the withdrawal. You can't just go run away, because they all seem to go, yeah, but which way? 
And you're like, no, don't don't think about it, just leg it. Everyone scatter. Nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Oh, this is like my worst recording session ever. Beat the retreat. Damn right we're gonna beat the retreat. We're gonna scoot you guys back over to um Where are you going? I mean, if you pin yourself into a city, that'd be pretty useful. Right, so I'm going to fight this, but in the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for hopefully some more victories in my Louisiana campaign. Cheers, everyone.